Hello, Peter. It's me, Dr. Octopus. <laughs> hey, Peter. <laughs> Hi, I'm Eric. I'm Jake. I'm Mike. And we're about to watch Spider-Man. Spider no, no way, way Spider home. This is my favorite movie of last year. Wow. Number one. What about the lady that lived in the van like you? That was two years ago. Yeah. <laughs> I was so nervous. I thought oh. the movie was going to be a huge bust. Right here. Ready? Dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. That. Because I was like... No, none of it was real. Oh, wow. it was all cop they, out. It all yeah. got ripped away from you. Because like, I was <laughs> like, that's all we've seen in the trailer. That's the only thing we know. Uh -huh. And then when I saw him there, I was like, oh, thank God. <gasps> Be careful. Why Watch is Doctor Strange on. bleeding from the head? Because he had to catch the lizard because nobody liked him. They should have totally cut Lizard and Sandman. No! 100%. It's so close to the Sinister Six. Why didn't they just add in like Mysterio or yeah, something? I know. Anybody. Just to make it the Sinister Six. It's the Finister Five. Poor Dane DeHaan is still waiting by the phone. Uh, <laughs> isn't that oh. the question of the day? The multiverse is a concept about which we know frighteningly little. Do you guys know what happened? The multiverse is real. Switched him. Switched him. What? Doctor Strange 2 was supposed to come out before this movie. Which sets up a multiverse yes. movie. Yes, which explains why it's so clunky in this. The way that I've described this movie, I'll say it right out of the gate here, an incredible Spider-Man movie intertwined with a horrible Doctor Strange movie. I agree with that. I think the ends justify the means. Whatever it takes to get us to the three of them swinging around, yeah. I don't fucking yeah. care. The movie could literally stop Kevin Feige could walk out and say, hey, we couldn't figure it out. Here's Spider-Man's. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here is Spider-Man. Ladies and gentlemen, the Spider-Man. And then like, they all croon. <laughs> They're here. How did you do that? Lots of birthday parties. Magic is real? My God is a lie? I wish you called Octavius a bitch. That would be funny. <laughs> Norman Osborn. The board can't. Yeah, the, the board, board can't. can't. I always Dude, that's think a P about That's that. a PMI throwback right there. But he was greedy. Misguided. Do we care about the fact that this doesn't make sense? The world doesn't know that Norman Osborn was Green Goblin until Spider-Man 3 and he's dead. The whole point uh, is Harry doesn't know. Nobody knows yeah, that he was Green Goblin. And my father died. I cleaned his wounds and then I didn't tell you for six <laughs> That's years. Right. Now, That's right. Because Norman Osborn died years ago. He would what? know Norman died, but he so wouldn't he know that Norman was, was the Green Goblin. Here's the thing, though. Guess what? Well, you're flying out into the darkness to fight a ghost. I don't care because that matter. back and forth was amazing. It yeah. is. You're flying out there to fight a ghost. Yeah, I was like, sick. <gasps> it's very, very cool. Very, <laughs> very cool shit. Did you guys see that? This is the best MCU Spider-Man alternate suit that they've ever done. Why is he in like a gold? It's inside out. Because his suit had paint on it. Paint. That's what it is? That's yeah. what it is. Look, you see all the wires? Look yeah, at the edges. Yeah, it's a little fucked up. What, what's happening? Everybody tells me that Electro is blue here. He's but blue like, right there. I know, but blue like, blue. that's is that really what people that's are him. going with? It's... I complained that he wasn't blue in the movie, and people were like, he, he was, was blue. blue for that's it? I'm with the majority here. I think it's probably the better route that they didn't go blue. But yeah, it's supposed to be him yeah. from the movie. I want to see the villains yeah. as they were represented in the movies. It's a small nitpick, but why is Dr. Octopus in different clothes? It's a multiverse. Maybe there is... Yes, you're a right. A universe where he was wearing <laughs> a clothes. A turtleneck. Yeah. It's me, Lynn Marco. This is such a Remember? weird scene. <laughs> what do you mean you're not my Peter? What the hell is going on? Every I was like, <laughs> am I fucking tripping balls yeah. right now? <laughs> Every the funniest line is coming up. Which one? When, when he disappears Electro, Sandman goes, did, did you, you just kill him? him? <laughs> yeah. He's like, what the fuck, dude? What did you just do to him? Oh, yeah. Wait. Like, okay, did you okay. kill him? What did you kill him? Did you kill him? Just have to trust me. Please just I trust don't me. trust you. I don't know you. <laughs> yeah. Let go of my purse. Ah, oh, hey, here he is. This is great. It's so good to see his face. Yeah. I, I love how, like, he's like a confused, like, d dementia ridden no. man here. Like, yeah, like a they, homeless guy. They like, should have had him, like, eating worms or something. They should have went deep. <laughs> they should have went harder into Yeah. The, you know, like a homeless man. <laughs> yeah. They could have really had productive commentary on the New York City homeless, but, <laughs> but, they, but they didn't. But they didn't. Typical. <laughs> Octavius. So, is this a good thing that, like, Osborne? One of the most interesting things in the MCU right now is, like, old characters. Characters talking about like not no, MCU. Uh, no, yeah. Yeah. obviously, yeah. You you can go on and on for days about like, well, that's interesting. When they brought back the stuff from the old movies, it's the best movie. But yeah. we don't need to get into yeah. it. Spider-Man was trying to stop my fusion reactor. I have to give them major props because. Both Willem Dafoe and Alfred Molina feel ripped right out of the early 2000s. Yeah. The acting, but also, really importantly, the dialogue. I think it's more so the acting than the dialogue. Willem Dafoe as a Green Goblin and Alfred Molina as Doc Ock, like, 
They made it work. They're perfect. Oh, some of these guys are going to die. I personally enjoy that, like, one of the twists of this movie is, like, it's not about Spider-Man fighting all the villains. It's, he's, like, he's got to oh. fix them all. It's a good way for another Spider-Man, like, him trying to be good blows up in his face. I just want to go home. <laughs> Sandman, really, you're right. Wants to go Sandman home. doesn't have a lot to do here. I just want to go home. This guy killed someone. It's like, they didn't even have, like, him show up. Like, they had to keep him sand the entire that time. That I get. That and the lizard, I'm like, yeah, sure. Okay, whatever. They didn't know what to do with him, so they locked him in a oh, truck. There's no reason for him to... Fucking lizard. They're like, we can't bring a lizard inside. We can bring an Octoman and a Sandman, but no lizards in this building. The chip is fried, so rather than him being in control of the tentacles, the tentacles are now in control of him. Isn't Willem Dafoe like... I don't know a single thing He's like, said. I'm a fucking corporate <laughs> lobby. Like, I'm the top dog. I specialize in Halloween machines and Halloween machines only. It is the... I forgot, yeah, it's the fucking the Halloween, Halloween machine. Yeah. Halloween machine. <laughs> Please stop moving your head. Every time they cut to Sandman, he <laughs> literally looks like a pile of shit. <laughs> like a poop literal man. pile of shit. It's dog poop, poop man. man. Like from Conker's Bad Fur Day, the great yeah, mighty poop. Is. When I get out of this, we're gonna rip you and you. Did you kill him? Yeah, did you kill him? <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't, I don't trust know you. you. I don't like you. Dr. Octavius. <sighs> So besides the three Spider-Men showing up, this is the only other part that like emotionally affected me. It's so quiet. When Alfred Molina is on screen, you feel the weight of a real yes. movie yes. happening. That's like they paid him a million dollars, but he's still doing like four million dollars worth of acting That's in a short way period of time. Yeah. Like that. I'd almost forgot. You've got a true thespian on the screen right yeah. now. Acting. The fiddler acting. upon the roof. The fiddler upon the roof. The goblin of green. The colossus of cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, this is this is like I was like fuck. This guys. is this is the first true like next level scene in the movie. Peter? But this is actually impressive because yeah. this is not relying on like yeah. nostalgia. This is an actual good scene. I was yeah. it was creative. The camera work and it's taking like how the sound. ridiculous the background is right now. We're yeah. watching Doc Ock and Green Goblin walk around an yeah, apartment around. in Long Island City. And it works. Yeah, it does. <laughs> That's some neat trick. That's some neat trick. That sense of yours. Norman? Norman's, Norman's on, on sabbatical, sabbatical honey. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Woo! And that's when, my... Dude, when he said that's honey, a, oh, I was man. like, honey! <laughs> <laughs> These are not curses. They're gifts. Cue yellow card. Yeah. Fucking gifts and curses. Oh, my God. <laughs> You don't know what you're talking about. I've watched you from deep behind Norman's cowardly eyes. This is better than anything that's happened in, in MCU. In any of yeah. MCU, this is, this is a, the best thing ever. For real. While the world tries to make you choose. Now choose! <laughs> Look at this is fucking great. Look at that. This is an excellent Spider-Man like, To sequence. me, that shot right there is like... In many years from now, we'll look back at that as an iconic Spider-Man yeah, shot. Yeah, this was yeah. This whole scene. Look at that. Do you ever, like, you look up just once in a while, like, on YouTube, you'll just look up scenes from oh. Spider-Man and Spider-Man. The train oh, fight. Totally. Train yeah. This yeah. is a scene I will look up. Yeah. This is a great scene. Strong enough to have it all. And again, the dialogue is right out of the early 2000s. Do Dude, wait, wait to that's take it. That's so good. It's, it's right out of the 2000s. It's, like, corny. It's beautiful. He's saying oh, these, like, this? these grandiose lines. Oh, ah! my God. Incredible. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's so good. I like that Green Goblin like kicks this Spider-Man's ass. It's cool. Oh yeah. They exchange blows in the other MCU Spider-Man movies, yeah. but this one felt like it was like there were brawls. He almost like makes him become Spider-Man. Yeah. Like for real. Green Goblin had to come back out of a time hole. Teach the new Spider-Man how to be <laughs> Spider-Man. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about this. I went into this movie ready to cry my eyes out when Happy died. You <laughs> Remember, that was my prediction. So when she died, I was kind of disappointed. Like, oh, it's going to be her. I don't care as much about her as I do about Happy. And Happy would have made me way more upset if he died. So this hit me like, you know, again, like not super emotionally invested in this Aunt May, but I think Tom Holland kills it. And I felt something just looking at Tom Holland reacting. Okay, fair. It's a well done scene for a character I don't care about. Me? Sandman comes running around the corner. Did you kill her? <laughs> I don't trust you. And I don't know you. 
I saw on, uh, I, I don't remember where, but like, you know it had to be a, a young kid posted it. But they were like, I'm confused. Why did they arrest Happy? He just drove up. And I'm yeah. like, he drove into the middle of an active explosion yeah. Yeah. crime scene. Yeah, Happy's, <laughs> Happy exercising his white privilege. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> the ultimate villain. <laughs> Not getting <laughs> immediately gunned down. Imagine if they. Can you imagine? Now! Bop, 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 bop. He's, just, he's just like. <laughs> like Sonny Corleone, just like. <laughs> 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 what? By the way, it's moments like that where I remember that you could shoot and kill Spider-Man. Why not? He's not invincible. Yeah, hit Why don't him. any of these villains just buy a gun at Walmart <laughs> and shoot him? Shoot him with a gun. <laughs> a Walmart brand gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It has to be. Hey, Peter. Peter. Hey, Peter. This Peter. is the best scene of the last decade, maybe, in movie oh, history. This, yeah. Like, oh. this is unbelievable. I've never been more yeah, excited, was, I don't think, in my entire what life. What a thrill this was. And the whip. <gasps> oh. Whoa! Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my god! Yeah. Who the hell are you? I'm Peter Parker. I'm Spider Man. I am Spider Man. We haven't discussed this at all, but man, Andrew Garfield. I'm going to do three, two, one, and then say it who you think is the best Spider Man actor. Best three, two, uh, one. Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield. Garfield. Yeah, yeah. He's, you can tell that Andrew Garfield himself, like, cared. <laughs> Look at him. God damn it. Yeah, he's he's great. I opened the wrong portal to the wrong Peter Parker. Yeah, I, I guess you just keep doing it until we find the real one. My head started hurting when I knew what was coming here. Find Peter Parker. I literally was the so was excited like that I, like, yeah. yes, like the front of my head. The entrance is fucking Holy perfect. shit. I was sitting next to Christian from the Wangers when I saw this in Shout out to him. LA. Shout out to the Wangers. And then at the end of the movie, he goes, Eric, you stood up. And I thought he was fucking with me. I was like, what? And he goes, yeah, when Tobey Maguire showed up, you stood up Shut on up. your feet and cheered and clapped. I don't remember yeah. doing that. <laughs> Holy shit. I wow. blacked kind out. Of out of body experience. <laughs> the two, two different sound effects for the web yeah, shooters. Yep, yep. Thank you, God. <sighs> He's like, yeah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You're on that goo, yeah, too. Yeah, that's right. Mine is jizz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bed. Now, which Marvel villain is she? She uh, uh, ends up going on to be... Uh, Thanos 2. <laughs> Thanos 2. <laughs> Thanos with the helicopter. I just have this sense that... that he needs my help. Tobey Maguire, to me, literally is Spider-Man because I grew up with right. him. Uh -huh. So when I look at Tobey Maguire, I'm like, oh, it's Spider-Man. It's kind of jarring for me, this scene, because of how much I believe Andrew Garfield is back as Spider-Man. As much as I love Tobey Maguire in the role, and as good as I think Tom Holland is, yeah. those two are actors that signed up for a job. Andrew Garfield was, like, born to play the part. Sorry about me. This could have been so stupid. Yeah, I was worried. When they showed up as early as they did, I was, I was like, Fuck, thrilled. Yeah. yeah. Because I'm sure we all 100% expected it to be in the final bum, fight. Bum, bum. Need some help? They're, Woo! Uh, yeah. They're coming through. And that's yeah. it. And that's it. My Uncle Ben was killed. It was my fault. You know me, I'm a little baby boy. I was obviously yeah. weeping. Uh, no, I'm with you. I lost Gwen. <gasps> oh, no. She was my MJ. Oh no, man. God, he's so good. I couldn't save her. Zendaya goes to Tom. Who the fuck is Gwen? Yeah. <laughs> I carried on, tried to um try to keep going, try to keep being the uh that friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Again, another guy in this movie where they're like, We'll give you a million dollars, and he's like, I'll give you four mil worth. I like this. I stopped pulling my punches. Like this is all supposed to be like a good moment between the spider man who are like they kinda like connect over their kind of trauma. Yeah. But they're, but they're basically saying like yeah, kid, in every single universe, your life sucks. Yeah, every time something bad happens. The night Ben died, I hunted down the man who I thought did it. One night, I fought the bone saw. <laughs> <laughs> I called him gay and I kicked his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man had the problematic jokes back then. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you guys don't make fun of people for being gay anymore. <laughs> Come on. I had a really a good one about Green Goblin, ready to go. <laughs> Do you have a best friend too? I did. I had a best friend once, yeah. He got canceled. He got canceled Damn. for hooking up with his students or something. Damn, man. You don't deserve this. You ruined your life. 
Yeah, no, no, no. Think about what's happening right now. He's like, I'm sorry you didn't get into college. Go to another universe and go to college. Exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry you didn't get the opportunity to take on massive amounts of, of debt. debt. <laughs> yeah. School paper. School paper. <laughs> you have someone? I also really like the filling in the blanks. I got no time for uh, Peter Parker stuff. The little bit they gave you extra for Tugboat McGuire and the little bit of extra they gave you for Andrew Garfield. Those little bits they give you are just like enough. just enough. They don't fuck with anything. It's just like a little interesting, a little bit of like... And apparently, if, you know, interviews with the writers and whatever are to be believed, they came up with a lot of the fill in the blanks. The writers actually like worked with them to figure out like where do you want your character Which to be. Which is probably the best way you could have done Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, it's my web fluid. It's for my web shooters. Why? Why? Whoa! He came! <laughs> that came out of you. Yeah. You can't do that, huh? Little Peter no. Parker gonna cry? <laughs> anyway, you can't do that, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna put some <laughs> cum in your eye. <laughs> <laughs> now dig on this. <laughs> now dig on this. Well, he admits it. I don't know why J.K. Simmons is in this movie. I love that people are hyped about it, and I should on paper be hyped about it, but it was just like a, kind of like a waste. I mean, I could have killed you. I thought he was talking to J. Jonah Jameson. Oh my god, I could have killed you, I could have killed you, bro. No, 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 no. And I should have killed you. I should have ripped your mustache off and shoved it up your ass. So naturally, we're curious as to how your web situation works. That's all. But if, if it's personal, I don't want to, like, pry. Objectively, oh, cool. as a movie, I, I these I scenes like, like, obviously go on too long. And I'm glad that they gave them time to do it. That's what we, I paid for. It, but this is what I'm here for, literally. But I have to say, that's actually really impressive. That they knew it doesn't matter if we're setting up a big action scene and we're going to just stop, halt it, push on the brakes, let them talk for a while. For two minutes for what is a better scene than a fight scene. You could watch this for two hours. Oh, yeah. Peter one, Peter two, Peter two, Peter three. Peter three. I say that like once a Unbelievable. Day. Oh, I, almost, I thought about, oh, I love you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's do this. This was worth making it to this yeah, day. This is what got me through the pandemic. I was like, I just Holy gotta see that. Holy shit. <laughs> because it's a scene at night, I can't tell who's who. You know how I could tell literally from the woos? Like, yeah. I, I, I know which one is which from yeah. that. It seems like this that made me wish I still had a soul. <laughs> yeah. That was goddamn beautiful. Yeah. That was incredible. I'm gonna lead him inside the statue. I only have one major gripe with this final battle, by the way. I wish Andrew Garfield went after Sandman, Tobey Maguire went after Electro. Mix it up. Like, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Hey, Dr. Connors. Hello, Peter. Yeah, see, we already got this movie. Wouldn't it be cool if Tobey Maguire interacted with him? Because yeah. then Tobey Maguire could be like, wait, Dr. Connors? My Dr. Yeah. Connors is a loser. My class is over. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Davis. No. Come on, Andrew Garfield, talk to Otto. What are you, an octopus or something? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, an octopus? That was a bit of a missed opportunity. Is this it? Is this it? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, fuck. Oh, ow, that looked like it hurt. Yeah, my fucking spleen. Oh, come on, let's go! Rubber boy, but <laughs> nah. how is your neck? Are you okay? This is so devastating. Yeah. She's just in <gasps> shock of how hot he is. Oh god. Are you okay? Really complicated if I have yeah. to explain. Yeah, it'll yeah, take yeah, a yeah. Minute. If you really want to know how I'm doing, I'll tell you. Too weak to, to send, send me home. home to die. He's such a fucking motherfucker. I just want to kill you myself. Are you gonna kill that guy? <laughs> Honestly, <the church> <laughs> <comes> <laughs> Love a good ground pound. That's a moment that you can't write by. Yeah. Me. There's not a chance that's in the script that the Green Goblin like whistle? whistles. Yeah. Willem Dafoe definitely on the day was like, I think he would whistle. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, whatever you say, Mr. Whatever, Dafoe. Whatever, man. Yeah. <laughs> ah, the Goblin goo. Now, juice. Is that happening? Or am I dying? Oh, yeah, no, that's happening. What is this? People in the sky. What is that? Did you guys I mean, see? What is that? That was your boy. That was Craven. That's what that was supposed to be. Didn't even recognize him when he was right in front of you. It was you reached yeah. out and grabbed him. It looks like a guy with Rhino. a stick. Yeah, he has he's a stick. Got a spear. <laughs> and his, yeah, it's, you know Craven's stick. See his Rhino. Oh, Rhino. Yeah. So cast a new spell, but this time make everyone forget who Peter Parker is. When Tobey Maguire gets home to Kirsten Dunst, she's gonna be like, "Who the fuck are you? I'm a single mom, as far as I know." No, he didn't oh, erase Spider-Man. Because everybody forgot Peter Parker. All yeah. Versus, yeah. <laughs> I, I really don't know how to say this. I, Something to be said about real costumes. 
Yeah. They look good. Look at the beauty around his neck of a yeah. perfect costume bunching yeah, up. Why are they so obsessed with painting that out on Tom Holland? It's I like don't know. perfect. I really don't. You're going to forget who I am. What? Imagine he goes up and he's like, I want MJ to remember me, but not Ned. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> That's scum. I want MJ to remember me as, like, the coolest fucking guy. Yeah, no, yeah, he, it's like a hypnotist. He goes, yeah. up, okay, strange, wait, I adjusted my wish. I want everyone to forget me except for Zendaya, and I want her to think that I'm, like, the hottest fucking guy, and she'll never leave yeah. me, and she loves me, and she's gonna kiss me and kiss me and kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kiss, kiss me. Kiss me, kiss me, kiss me, kiss me. There's not something we can do. We can we can't come up with, like, a plan or something. Zendaya, by the way, good, good actor. Yeah, she's Killing great. it. I wish she had a last name <laughs> <laughs> the one thing she's it takes me out of this world yeah. you're missing something kid yeah there's something <laughs> yeah there's something off wow mj moved on fast yeah <laughs> <laughs> confused Damn. old man chatting it up with stan lee jr over here <laughs> stan lee jr <laughs> I yeah. mean, honestly, yes. Stanley was what a hundred years yeah. old, so that guy could be seventy yeah. and be junior. Yeah. yeah, if he had a son at like yeah. twenty-five. Yeah. Right, right. Rent is due on the first of the month. Oh, he said rent. Give me rent. This apartment costs three thousand dollars a month. Easily, easily. But he's got inheritance from Aunt May, maybe. Yeah. No, there should have been a scene where Charlie Cox is like, "I'm sorry, this is going to Peter Parker. Can you prove your identity? Oh, Million yeah. dollar inheritance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> from Aunt May. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Finally, Spider. Yeah. Beautiful. I squealed. I fucking was like, I oh, squealed yeah. when I saw the blue. I was like, Oh, yeah. and look the, at that suit. And the music is good. <gasps> Oh, it's glorious. Look at it. And it's beautiful. He's in the snow. They've never done that before, and that's very cool. And yeah, tight. Miles and Morales, so. PS4 looking. Yes. <laughs> Man, he looks so good. Finally, the thing we've been begging for forever. Obviously, there was like some eh, things, but as crazy as a fucking movie as this was, like they made it work. It didn't change my life. Like I, I, like I thought it could have this like profound impact on me, but it made me really happy and smile and they didn't fuck it up. Like I said, this movie finally gave me MCU Spidey clips to look up mm -hmm. when I'm in the mood. And so I'm very grateful for that. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed these highlights from our commentary track for Spider-Man No Way Home. If you would like to watch the rest of the movie with us, you can download our full commentary track at prettymuch.it, where you can also find out how to get brand new commentary tracks from us every single week. If you would like to follow us on social media, we are at Strifleric, at Jake Baldino, and at Mike's Moist. We did our first commentary track for the original Spider-Man, what, in like 2014? Jesus Christ. And now it's 2022, and they're all back together again, and we just did it, baby. In conclusion, good shit. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much <laughs> that's it. <a> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>